Welcome back to my channel, divas. <laughs> It is me, Monique, your girl. I'm the diva. <laughs> if you're new, that's who I am. I'm the diva. I'm Monique. And if you've been here for a while, welcome back, Diva Squad. Hey, it's good to see you. How have you guys been? You been good? High five. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to be doing some reading and talking about some books. This is amazing reads bring it back y'all bring it back y'all amazing reads amazing reads bring it back y'all bring it back y'all amazing reads amazing reads hey. <laughs> so if you don't know i'm bringing amazing reads back let me let you guys know about it if you don't know it's about reading a one book a month and i'm just gonna share what i'm reading once a month so this month in february which it is the end of february i'm so sorry i have been going through a lot of stuff i will let you know because of the book that i am reading um it is called <laughs> the mcdougall program for maximum weight loss Ta -da! now this book includes um how to lose up to 15 pounds a month you never feel hungry. You eat as much as you want. And there's more than 100 new recipes in this book. So I am reading this book because I have gone through so many different diets um, last year and this year. Not really that many diets, only probably two or three um, diet pills, supplements, keto diet, all those things did not work for me. Now my body is very sensitive and very picky. Now I am going to tell you the ketogenic diet is really good for people whose body can take that, um, and who are consistent with the ketogenic diet. I lost 10 pounds in two weeks. Yes, your girl lost 10 pounds in two weeks on the ketogenic diet. I was consistent. I did my thing. I was exercising and I lost the 10 pounds. Now I got sick and gained the 10 pounds back. And so now, um, I'm on something different because doctor's orders. So since doctor's orders, I'm going to tell you why doctor's orders. Okay. Um, I was on the ketogenic diet and I did have, um, really bad flu which took me out for like a whole week and I was not drinking enough water which um, made my cholesterol and my blood pressure higher than normal and so in in that same sentence I ended up in the hospital I ended up having to talk to my doctor about my meals and my diet and so my doctor told me that I just need to go ahead and eat generally a well-balanced diet and eat all the healthy things that I'm supposed to be eating and stop cutting out certain things and adding other things that I'm not supposed to add. Now in saying that, I have been doing that lately. But not only have I been doing that lately, I have been doing more than that. I have been having certain issues where I binge eat at night and it's not just that I'm binge eating at night. I'm eating things that I should not eat. Sweets, chocolates, candies, um, sweet popcorn. And so I need to like cut all those things out and try to educate myself on better things that can help my health. Since I'm so sensitive, I figured that I could educate myself by this book, this McDougal diet, and try it. Um, my decision right now is that I'm not going to change my full diet. It is that I'm going to try this diet um, plan and see if it works for me. Now, if I can handle this diet and if it can work for me, then I am going to change my lifestyle of eating. If I can't, then I am going to try my best to eat a well-balanced diet and to try this, this for 
I'm going to say 21 days, three weeks. Let's try three weeks. You guys can follow me on my journey on this McDougal program. I'm not even done with this book. As you can tell, like there's a bookmarker in there. So I'm only like not even a quarter done with this book, but I want to share with you guys that this is the book that I've been reading for February. I just started it a few, um, a few days ago, but I'm going to finish this within two weeks and I'm going to inform you on the things that I did read in here. And already I do have so many things that I have already learned from this book. Um, that it informs you on certain foods and certain things that you did not know. And this is a good book for people who um, are having issues with their dieting and eating and stuff. So I feel like this can help me quite a bit and this can help others. So in saying that, why don't you go ahead, follow this train and read one book a month with me. If you're reading already, let me know down in the comment section, what book are you reading this month in February? And in March, let me know what you're reading in March since March is only around the corner. So come on, y'all. You know you want to. There's so many things that you can learn from the book and the algorithm of turning the pages. Come on, y'all. Who doesn't want to turn a page? I know there's so many things that you can do um, going online online books, you know, audio books that you can do, but why don't you pick up a book and read, expand your mind and just feel the book, feel how it is, read the pages, turn the pages. It's the whole, uh, um, um, of turning the pages and reading the book. I mean, we need to educate ourselves more by reading I'm seriously trying to promote this because there's so many things that are going on in this world and so many icky things that are poisoning our mind as far as like social media, things on the internet, YouTube. These things are supposed to be tools for us to share things with other people and teach things to other people so they can learn certain things, which of course, some people are doing those things like myself, and I do know a couple other influencers that are amazing at what they do, but some people are not. And there some people are abusing these tools that we are using to teach people and they're poisoning these young kids' mind and our minds. So I'm going to be one of those influencers by telling you guys to try to open your mind, expand your mind. If you like superheroes, go read some comics. If you like funny things, go, um, you know, go read the comedy section in a newspaper. If you like, you know, certain thrillers, I mean, go to the library, you guys. Go pick up a book and just imagine the things in that book that you're reading. I mean, your mind is so incredible. We do not know what our minds can do. Now, if I tell you a secret, you guys need to take it and sponge it in like a big sponge, okay? Take it in. Go read the Harry Potter series. Just do it. And then go watch it. And then tell me, which one was better, the books or the TV show? Boom, secret. <laughs> so back to the book. Um, Here is a few rules on this diet. It kind of scares me, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> so the simple set of rules are all whole grains are Okay, as far as whole grain cereal, brown rice, corn, oatmeal, barley, millet, wheat berries, many packaged grain cereals, puff grains, and other healthy cereals. Squashes such as acorn butternut and buttercup, pumpkin, and zucchini, my favorite. Um, root vegetables such as potatoes, sweet potatoes and yams. Legumes such as peas, split peas, black-eyed peas, string beans, and navy beans, pinto beans, chickpeas, lentils, and a duzuki. Never heard of him. 
Green and yellow vegetables such as collard greens, broccoli, kale, mustard greens, cabbage, various types of lettuce, watercress, celery, um, cauliflower, carrots, asparagus, and tomatoes. Fruits such as apples, bananas, berries, grapefruit, oranges, peaches, and pears limited to only two a day, two servings a day. Um, and it also says on here, which kind of scares me, for most people, simple sugars, um, salt, and spices are used sparingly at the table rather than in cooking. I don't know how that's going to work for me because I love spices and herbs while cooking. So that might be a little thing that I might cheat on in this diet. Please don't kill me for that. But um, I need flavor, honey. Also, it says... All red meat, including beef, pork, and lamb, are all rich in fat and cholesterol. All poultry and fish. Poultry has about the same amount of cholesterol as red meat. <laughs> Imagine that. While fish varies depending on the type. Some fish are higher in cholesterol than red meat. Others are lower. All dairy products, including milk, yogurt, and cheese. Yogurt and cheese are my best friend. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> all are loaded in fat and cholesterol low fat dairy products are not recommended because of potential health hazards including allergies and childhood diabetes arthritis and lactose intolerance excuse me <laughs> also all eggs they're abundant in fat and cholesterol nuts seeds avocados olives and soybean products including tofu soy cheese and soy milk Soy products are high in fat unless they have been specially processed. All dried fruits and fruit juices, all flour products such as bread, bagels, and pretzels. Flour products are composed of fragments of grain or relatively small particles which increase absorption. Absorption. Uh, bleh, <laughs> absorption and slow weight loss down. Hmm. Imagine that, y'all. So, as you can see, this diet is made up of unprocessed high carbohydrate foods. Fat is cut to an absolute minimum. I'm going to try it. Are you going to try the McDougal program with me for 21 days? Let's make this a hashtag 21 days McDougal program diet. How about that? We can start on March 1st, from March 1st to March 21st, and see how the 21-day McDougal diet will do us. If you're with me, I'm going to go ahead and post this on my social media. Come join my 21 days with me and see how it works for you. I'm going to finish this book within the next two weeks and inform you guys on how I feel like this book is. If you have read the McDougal diet, Maximum Weight Loss, Please go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this book. If you want to see more amazing reads, don't you forget to keep on watching me. And a freaky, a freaky, a don't forget to smash that like button. And you know what? You might as well go ahead and subscribe while you're at it because you're watching me. Go ahead and do it. Join my Diva Squad. Hit subscribe right there. Boop, there's a button down there. You can hit it. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can see when I post more videos every single time. Not sometimes, but every time because sometimes YouTube be tripping. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> and until my next video, blessings, y'all. Bye.